moods, money, and becoming more. Have you ever had something that you know you need to do? Like, you know, if you do that thing, it's going to begin this uh, consistent reaction that's going to lead you to what you actually desire. But doing it just seems to take everything in you to make it happen. Uh, so oftentimes, guys, one of the reasons why we struggle to get to our next level is because the thing that we need to do is not our normalcy. That means that it takes extra effort on our part and we can't always uh, go by how we feel. You know, so many times we use little sayings like, well, maybe it wasn't meant for me uh, this time. Uh, maybe the timing was off. But did you guys know that we have a great deal to do with the timing of when things happen in our lives? Now, this is not to take away anything from God's sovereignty, right? Being able to make, you know, the final decision. But much of what we are waiting on, it's really us. For instance, I am an extreme introvert. So going to really large arenas and even some networking events, uh, it's just a struggle for me, right? And so I have to prepare myself by, you know, casting down the thoughts because they come in our mind as all these different reasons that are actually excuses as to why we don't get it done. Maybe your thing is, you know, you want to lose weight or you want to become healthier or change your, uh, your eating habits. But, you know, the effort, you don't go to the grocery store, you don't get the right food, you don't have what's needed to eat healthy in the home. Preparation is so powerful. And one of the greatest places that we can prepare is in our mind, right? So our, we have to reprogram our mind whenever it's something new or different that we desire because it's not going to feel good necessarily when we attempt to do it. So maybe your thing may be... Um, you know, being around other people, people, you know, your community is your currency, your community is your currency. And so you have to reprogram some of the mindsets that, you know, got you to the level that you're on, but definitely won't get you to where it is that you desire to go. I mean, all kinds of things will come up when you set out to do things differently that you know are going to allow you to become more. Things that you know will allow you to, you know, earn more revenue. I remember going to a conference years ago, and one huge thing that I learned from that conference was this phrase called take action now. And every now and then, I just have to repeat that phrase. I have to cast down, you know, any other thoughts that are making me go do all the stuff that really don't matter, right? Instead of doing that one thing that I know is going to move me to the next level. So I want to share with you this morning that you can't always count on your mood to be the judge of whether or not you do the thing that's necessary, you can't always say, um, well, maybe it's not my time. Another example, I remember when I owned a brick and mortar service-based business, one of my staff members, um, who was a believer as well, asked me, Miss Tanya, how long have you been saved? Because you just know this word. And I was like, well, you know, I really seriously gave my life to Christ maybe three to four years ago. And they were like, wow, it just seems like you've been saved all your life because you really know the word. But it wasn't the number of years, guys. It was the number of hours. It was the time that I spent in the word that positioned me to understand it even more. And so sometimes we can you know, stay in seasons for a long time that should have shifted or changed in our business and in our life because of, uh, not because it's been so many years and it should have happened now, but because we've missed so many moments. We've passed over so many opportunities to be consistent, to change what it is that we're doing. So if you're looking to uh, become more uh, remember that your mood, you can't count on your mood all the time. The mood that's telling you, ah, oh, that's not something I really like doing, but you got to know that the things that you did before are not the same things that are going to get you to the space where you become more.